Hello and welcome to the Talent Integration Cloud Welcome video series. This is part six, going further with the Talent Studio. We've succeeded in building, testing, and running our flow. We've discovered how to connect to on-premises data, and now we'll walk through an overview of the Talent Studio. Let's get started. The Talent Studio is designed to build out actions in Talent Integration Cloud. Let's open the studio for the first time together. First, I'll open the folder location where I saved and extracted the Talent Studio program. I'll double click on the file and the program loading window appears. This may load for a couple minutes. And I must accept the terms and conditions. First time users need to import the license. Within the license setup window, I must browse for my license. I would have had the option to save the license info from my trial email, or if I am a customer, I'd have received my license once I purchased the license from Talend. Here's my license within the browser window. Once I've selected it, it'll let me know if it's a valid license or not. I'll click next to begin importing all of the components and objects into my studio. A pop-up appears asking me to begin by creating a new project to get me started and click Finish. You may be prompted to sign in or to register for Talent Community, your online community with other Talent software users and technical experts to share tips, tricks, and best practices, as well as view exclusive documentation and technical articles from the Talent Knowledge Base. We highly recommend you take advantage of this valuable source of information to get even more value out of Talent Integration Cloud. Once my Talent registration is complete, Talent Studio will finish launching and the welcome page will appear as seen here. On the welcome page, I can access recent actions or jobs here. I can close the welcome page by clicking Start Now. Let's set up and explore the studio. First, let's look at the repository located in the left panel. This folder tree lists all standalone jobs within Talent, which can be turned into actions and then be used in the cloud. Some of the most commonly used folders include job designs, where actions reside, contexts, which we'll discuss later, and metadata. Upon first opening the studio, all folders within the repository will be empty due to the lack of metadata. So I need to import a demo project to get ourselves started. Click on the Import Demo icon in the upper navigation bar. Select Integration Cloud Demos from the Available Demo Projects list. The word demo might be a bit misleading. It actually isn't just a demo project, but also consists of over 150 different actions that were in the Talent Exchange at the time that the Talent Studio was released for general use. Clicking Finish brings all of these actions into your new project for you to use. All right, now my project is loaded. Let's now go to my job designs folder and walk through an example of how to view a job design. We'll retrieve data from Salesforce contacts, so let's walk through that folder tree to locate our job. And once I've selected the correct job, the job's visual demonstration displays in the main window, termed the design window. So here we see the action I pulled down in earlier videos into my account on the web interface to then extract data from my Salesforce account for contacts and then push them out to the next action so I could load it into the other system. Thanks to our demo import, I can now use the repository to integrate starting actions into the job within my design window. For instance, I could include quality actions or perhaps file process actions Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, or Amazon S3, there are a lot of great starting actions in here for me to use. If I'm using any actions that connect to any type of system, I'll need to use a connection with a context folder within my repository to give the action, or job, the correct parameters for connections to be used in the cloud. Since the video is simply covering studio features at a high level, know that we'll dive deeper into context variables in upcoming videos but it's good to understand where they fit in the studio's big picture. In the far right, which may be hidden by small window minimize maximize icons, the palette includes a list of 800 plus components that pump the heart of the talent integration, expertise, and history of integrating to application. I can use these components to build my own actions or expand any existing actions being used. For example, 
Database components include all databases that Talon can connect to. If I want to add a component to the job within my design window, I'll simply select a component from the list and drag it to the design window. If I highlight one of the components within my design window, the component tab below fills with unique component configuration settings for the component highlighted. I would then configure all of the different parts of the particular component, but we'll discuss configuring in the next video. Thank you very much for watching the video on going further with the Talon Studio, a basic overview of the Talon Studio. Your next step is to watch the video in this series entitled Developing and Publishing with Talon Studio. Thank you very much.